So I just had a test done. Um, it's a saline ultrasound test that they do um, to check your uterus, I guess, to make sure that you don't have any um, complications within your uterus, like with being able to carry the child and stuff. Um, and it was painful just like the test to check my tubes um lots of cramping and I don't know if I'm just a big baby or if it's because I have such bad endometriosis um that everything just hurts so much more um but I feel um kind of ashamed because today while I was laying there on the table and they were doing this procedure I thought to myself I don't want to have a kid and that's far from the truth but I'm just tired of dealing with so much pain I'm tired of the process having to be so difficult and nothing seems to just be easy and so it's hard it's really really hard um I think some people think that fertility is like an escape or an easy way out to like not have to go through stuff naturally and it's not because it's it's hard it's really really hard to deal with all of this stuff and to have to go through all of these different procedures and do all of this different stuff to try to figure out you know what's the best way to go about trying to conceive and what's what our best options are but it's hard because you have happy thoughts and then you have sad thoughts and then you have negative thoughts and you know it's it's hard to always stay positive about the whole process and about the fact that one day we will have a baby um god willing so it's just yeah that's my day so i wanted to go into more detail about my last video um, so, first of all, um, having a child is something that I have always desired, um, since I was a teenager, I've always looked forward to being a mom one day, and, um, it's just in the moment of things like that, you can't control your thoughts so much, um, and so, in that moment, you know, I was thinking to myself, literally, my thoughts were, if I have to go through this, I don't want a baby. Like, if I have to continue to go through all of this pain, I don't want it. And it's not because I don't want a baby. It's because, first of all, it's painful. And secondly, you think about why, why me, why do I have to go through all of this? When there's people who have babies all the time, they don't even want them. <laughs> so, I didn't want you guys to think that <laughs> just because people like me have those thoughts sometimes that we're undeserving. <laughs> Because we're going to have those thoughts. There's going to be times 
where those thoughts crossed our mind and we just, we don't know if it's worth it. You know, because we could go through this whole entire process and then still not have a baby at the end. So it's hard because all you can do is pray and put it in God's hands and it's just, it's not, a, it's not always an easy thing to do to just trust. And so, you know, it's, it's difficult. Um, dealing with the, like, chemical pregnancy and not even being, like, two weeks long and that happening and everything, like, I've been fine. But it's like the more and more I think about the process that we have to go through, it's hard. Because this is just the beginning. This is literally the beginning. And it's going to get more in-depth and more painful and more things that I have to go through. Me, not my husband, he's got it easy. Um, you know, because from here, I'm pretty sure, like... The next processes are going to include like shots every day and just, you know, it's just, it's just not fun. Like the outcome will be worth it. But the daring is very, very trying. And I can say that and it's only been a short time for us that we've been doing this. But it's also on top of me dealing with so many years of endometriosis pain, you know, and the... Pregnancy test after pregnancy test that popped negative and just thinking that this was going to be the time. So it's just, there's a lot of years previous to this um, journey on top of, you know, the start of it. So there's a lot to it. Um, there's a lot of emotion behind it. Um, but at the end of the day, right now I'm not stopping. Right now, I'm not giving up because I feel like God has said that it's our time. And I think that we're where we need to be. It's just that the process itself is not very easy. So, I didn't want you guys to uh, feel indifferent or not feel my true feelings towards how I was feeling after that procedure today. So, I wanted to make another video for you guys to let you know. Um exactly where that came from um so anyways if you guys want to continue to follow my journey please like and follow um our youtube channel and you will continue to see updates from us throughout the journey at some point i'm going to include my husband here with us so thanks guys and y'all have a great day be blessed